Ciao ragazzi, benvenuti a Roma. Welcome to Rome. Today is day 18 of my Roman adventure and it was a tough one. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so today was all about accessibility. Uh, my mother um, has some mobility issues. She can walk around but her energy levels are, are like finite. Um, and needs uh, longer periods to rest so uh, we got her a wheelchair we're rolling her around um, she can't quite do the stairs and stuff uh, and so it's been a bit of an experiment to see how accessible Rome is um, I did some research beforehand and in particular the uh, the metros the the uh, subway um, the buses uh, they all claim to be very accessible um, I chose the apartment that I did based on the fact that, uh, you know, uh, there's an elevator at the uh, metro station and stuff. But uh, we did run into some problems, <laughs> some issues. Um, and yeah, it, uh, it was a little tougher going than we thought. And uh, this morning was a great opportunity. My mother and I, uh, like it was a work day for me, so I had a few hours. Um, and uh, figured I, uh, while the rest of the family was off, I, uh, checking out the Colosseum and that kind of thing, um, I would I'd take my mom, we'd, uh, we'd go and check a few sites out, maybe see some churches, get a croissant and a coffee. Uh, and uh, yeah, we did that, but we immediately ran into some issues with uh, um, some of the chairlifts uh, that weren't really available unless the staff was there. Um, they recommended that we get back, you know, in a half hour. Um, otherwise, there'd be no one to use the chairlift. It was like, oh, okay, it's okay. So what we did instead was we took the subway a few stations that way. We got out um, and we walked back. Um, no big deal, but lesson learned. We, we now know how that works and operates. Um, unfortunately, uh, tonight was a big fancy dinner. Um, and no, I shouldn't say that. I started saying, unfortunately, it's a big fancy dinner. It was a big fancy dinner uh, night tonight. Um, we went to a place that my mother picked out, and apparently it was Anthony Bourdain's uh, favorite restaurant in Rome. Um, so, of course, we had to go. And uh, we had a marvelous meal, great time. Uh, it was a bit of a challenge getting there. Um, it's in Trastevere, so it was about a 40 minute bus ride after about a 20 minute walk. Um, but we made it. I actually met some Canadians on the, on the bus, or my dad did. Uh, <laughs> and um, yeah, had a wonderful evening. An absolute wonderful meal, a wonderful evening together. Um, just great. And uh, you know, uh, my mom is drinking wine, she never touches wine. Uh, my sister never touches wine. We all partook in a very nice uh, bottle of wine. The staff were amazing with us. And uh, yeah, then we tried to get home. <laughs> and yeah, uh, well, so it's, it's hard to explain, but um, we basically made it to the metro that was supposed to be accessible. There, there's my niece and nephew right here. <laughs> so why don't we walk home together um, so I was just talking about our fancy meal that was great with our not so great uh, uh, ride home uh, so we um, yeah so everything was supposed to be accessible it wasn't uh, the one subway just doesn't stop running at 11 um, that was tough and then when we tried to get out of the metro station <laughs> there were lifts out of order there were <laughs> escalators out of order someone told us a washroom was an elevator <laughs> oh yeah someone told us that a washroom was an elevator <laughs> and because uh, it had the little wheelchair <laughs> sign on it and we're thanking them thinking oh they, thanks we missed that and we get there we open the door and <laughs> it's oh, oh terrible man. toilet terrible <laughs> so we then had to figure out how to find this bus and the bus didn't even have a number <laughs> it was like an NMA and when it got there it had a number we were very confused but we got on anyway because we figured okay we're just going to ride this until we get closer home 
And uh, turns out we were on the right uh, bus. And then we get to our, <laughs> our <laughs> we get to our stop, and I push the, you know, please stop button. And uh, the guy rides right past, then past the next one. We had to walk back a few more blocks. And it was just one of those things, right? Like after us trying to figure everything out. And, uh, you know, it was just like the last straw. So thankfully we are moments from our apartment and uh, everything's fine. I have to remind myself, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not my fault the Metro doesn't work. It's not my fault that, you know, but I can't help like just taking it all on, you know, and just being like, oh, like if I would have planned better, if I would have just like, why didn't I know, you know, okay. it's tough. Um, Mom seems to be okay with it. I think that everybody's really tired. Um, hopefully not, nobody hates me for sending them on this crazy adventure. Um, we got a nice meal out of it. So, um, I don't know, we'll find out tomorrow, I guess. If nobody's talking to me tomorrow, my next video is about how my family isn't talking to me and will, will no longer follow me on my adventures. So, I doubt it though. <laughs> all in all though, we're having a great time. And uh, we're all just a little tired. And, you know, tomorrow's another day. So with that said, there'll be another video tomorrow. If you want to subscribe, you'll get notified. You won't miss them. Um, but please, keep the comments uh, coming. Keep the likes coming. I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. And, uh, yeah. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Ciao. Arrivederci. <laughs> Night, everyone. <laughs> Pastry of the day. <laughs> Pistachio and cream croissant with mum. <laughs>